breaking into the hospital. I can't wait till you're under the, the anesthetic to see how much fun you're gonna be. You're this confused already. So the doctors put the cutting lines. He's gonna cut down here and he's gonna cut here. We have to be at the hospital by 6.30 a.m. So we're up super early. We can get there, it's a two hour drive and they're threatening snow for part of the drive. So we better make sure that we get there on time. How are you feeling about this morning? I'm a bit nervous. Cheyenne needs to have a shower before we go in for her surgery. And she has to use these surgical sponges. The one side's got like a little nail brush and the other side's a sponge. I'm getting my surgery done, so they're going to cut this right off and reposition that. In our last video, I kind of showed where along here, and then cut a bit off there, and then a bit down as well. So he's gonna get it all straightened out. Yeah. Are you feeling good about this or nervous? Mm, both, kinda. You're looking forward to it not hurting anymore, mm -hmm. but there's gonna be a bit of pain. There's gonna be a lot of pain before that. Mm -hmm. Still dark as we're heading in. The sun hasn't even come up. It's way too early. Okay, open it. The man said, open it. <laughs> he was so strong. Breaking into the hospital. <laughs> okay, show me how to get there. I like it when it's color coded. Is that to relieve your stress? More like, like you just <laughs> hmm? more like something to finish it with while we have to wait for a few It was a very quiet hospital. Mm-hmm. Very. I get to pick the color of my uh, cast. I don't know. We'll have to see what they're going to do. I don't even know how they're going to wrap it up today. Hmm? What color would you pick if you get to pick? Camouflage or blue? <laughs> we will see at the end of the video what color cast you come out with. I think I should tell them to do it pink while you're sleeping. No. So then you wake no. up with a pink cast. No. So other than your mom we've got uh, Mrs. Jones and Mrs. Jones and Mrs. That's breakfast. Hmm? Better get every drop. Almost time to go. I'm the first one in. Then you're gonna talk to the atheist. That's the person who's gonna put you to sleep. And you're gonna talk to the surgeon. Wasn't that the thing that I just drank? No, that that's just to help relax you so you don't get too stressed out while you're down there. How was that ride? Fun. You had an entertaining porter, didn't you? Yeah, one that was speaking as the... Uh... She was pretending to be your pilot? <laughs> yep, and telling me that one we're going to take off and... So the doctors put the cutting lines. He's going to cut down here and he's going to cut here. Right here he's going to cut to release the tendons to get this toe straightened, straightened out. out and over here to do this toe. Mm -hmm. I can have a proper foot. <laughs> you can have a proper foot. You can have one funny looking one and one good one. Yeah, and then that funny looking one, which is my left one right now, is going to be 
And then you can have two beautiful feet. Yes. Without pain. Mm-hmm. Because that's the key, right? Yeah. No pain. No pain, no gain. Dun, 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 dun. So are you ready for this? <laughs> yeah, they're going to give me a gas mask. So they're going to give you a mask to breathe. And then they'll do the IV after, so then you won't see the needle. That's a good thing? Yeah. Because you don't like needles. No. Okay, when you wake up, you probably have the IV in your hand still. So, Hopefully So not. that tube, oh. that's attached to that bag, okay, will probably still be in your hand. But it's not a needle, it's a little straw. They put it in with a needle, and then they pull the needle out and leave the little straw in your hand. Okay. Okay. Doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it'll be in your hand. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and Doctor's here. He's your surgeon. That's why he's here. It's confusing, isn't it? Your surgeon actually came to the hospital to do your surgery. He's my foot <laughs> doctor. <laughs> He's your foot doctor who came to do your foot oh. surgery. Which still does not make any sense. <laughs> well, who was going to do it? Just like, cut here, cut here, cut here kind of thing. And then... Who did you think was going to do all the cutting? I don't know. <laughs> Some person <laughs> wanted to I think it's funny you're this confused and you haven't had the medicine yet. <laughs> Hmm? You're this confused <laughs> and they haven't even given you any medicine. Well, usually the wear is clad. <laughs> sure. He's a surgeon. He does Collar surgery. Sure. And then. And then he came dressed shoes. like a surgeon. <laughs> I can't wait till you're under the, the anesthetic to see how much fun you're going to be. <laughs> You're this confused already. It's going to be fun to see you coming out of that anesthetic. Oh, You're going to be entertaining. <laughs> so Cheyenne just went into the operating room. She was very confused as to why her doctor was here. I don't really know who she expected to do the surgery, but she was very confused that her doctor was here to do the surgery and that he wasn't dressed the same way that he normally is. I think it's kind of funny. She hasn't even had any medication yet and she's already confused. So I don't know what she's going to be like when she comes out of that anesthetic. So she is very excited about having her foot feel better. She does realize it's going to hurt a lot more first, but the thought of it being better is very exciting for her. Sometimes it gets hard when you're always in pain to think that you could live without pain. So I'm really excited that she has this opportunity that it's going to get better and she's not going to have that pain every day while she's trying to do things. So Cheyenne's surgery is at a regular hospital. It's not a pediatric surgery because she's 15 and it is a lot different for someone who's 15 as opposed to getting things done in the pediatric hospital. In the pediatric hospital, it's all about making sure they understand everything and making sure that they're comfortable. And yes, they want to make them comfortable, but they're not so much at explaining everything and making sure that the children know what's going on. That was left a lot to me. It was helpful that Dean had had his surgery last week, so he was able to explain things to Cheyenne, and we were able to use the video that we had taken so that she could understand things that way. But it is very different when you're going in for a adult surgery, even though she's only a year older than Dean, than getting it done at a pediatric hospital. So this is like the sick people ward. <laughs> Laura, how come you're there? How come you're sitting here with a bucket? I don't know. You just thought you'd come sit with a bucket? No. What happened? Seizures. So you had seizures. And are you feeling better from your surgery? Yep, I can have your things straight. Okay. Oh. 
And you're getting all the love from the animals? Yep. Yeah. Morning, Sunshine. How are you feeling this morning? Ah. Tired. Are you in a medicated coma? Just want to sleep from all your pain meds? I think so. How's your foot feeling? Good. Are you practicing? Yeah. Let's see what you can do. I can. I. I want to practice. Yeah, this way he starts. Bailey's on duty again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think she feels she's a nurse. Yeah. And she's always there to nurse everybody back to health. Hmm? I don't think she can nurse this back to health. You don't think she can nurse you back to health? Maybe she's just there to comfort you.